What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shani, and welcome back to the Woman's Palace. So today, I want to talk about balance, okay? Now, before we hop into this topic, go ahead. Y'all know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and go ahead and leave your comments down below. So let's go ahead and dive into this topic. Balance, okay? God is on me about balance right now. And you may say, well, what do you mean by balance? balancing your life you know sometimes we can get caught up on and if not i speak for myself i must be about my father's business okay that we forget that god wants us to be able to not just work but also be be in your present moment experience your present moment don't always be on the go it's actually valuable to be able to be in your present moment not always walking not always working but simply being being in that current experience that you are experiencing at the moment and god had to make me realize we learn through experience so if we always just work 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 we need to understand that we need a balance in our life. God is calling us to be balanced, not off balance. You can't always be working. You can't always just be on the go. And I was actually watching Torrey Roberts and Sarah Jake Roberts. He got this new book out called Balance. And I'm actually going to buy the book. And he was saying in his interview, like, it takes strength to be able to stop. You know, like I always say, we live in a world that is so fast that people feel like if they stop and really just stop. And what that means is stop everything that you are doing, you know, and be able to simply be, connect. And I feel like that does take a lot of strength because, well, a lot of faith, because if God is calling you to it, you have to understand that God will provide for you. You know, we get so caught up on, well, how's the house going to be ran? How's my bills going to be paid if I stop? Not realizing you have to be able to recharge. And this is what God is making me realize. Sometimes you can always just be pouring out, pouring out, pouring out that you don't realize that you haven't been poured into by God because you've been so busy working that you haven't had time to go back to the source, to connect, for him to recharge you, for him to fill your cup back up. Sometimes you got to be able to get into a point where, you know what? And this is where he had made me realize that the Sabbath is rest. Even God had to rest and you can just take that one day, but even a thousand years is one day to us. And one day is like a thousand years to God, right? But you got to be able to realize that you need to rest. You need to find a balance in your life where you're not always working, where you can be able to take time and simply be in the moment. Don't always, I got to do this. I got to do this. It's, it, learn to be able to observe and not be able to take in, oh, I have to do this if I look at this. No, be able to experience the moment. You know what? Today, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to take faith. I'm going to have the faith, even though it takes a lot of faith to stop. I feel like God is calling a lot of people to stop right now in this moment. You have to be able to find your balance. It's not always about working, 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 because you can work yourself out. You can wear yourself out and you can find yourself weary. And I said this in my prophetic word that... um in my vision, I had like, um, we were just working and we were sweating and I didn't understand why we were sweating because it was like a dark day. Like it was just dark. So where was the sun at to make us sweat? And God had to make me realize that's a sign that you are weary, you know? And in that sense, you can't grow weary, but even in that sense, you got to trust God enough to know, you know what, God, I trust you. So even when I feel like I need to be working because nothing is happening, I'm going to rest in this moment to know that you got me, God, that I don't have to put so much work on myself, but I can find a balance and be able to create space for me to be able to refill myself. Sometimes we get so weary because we're always going, not realizing God sometimes just wants you to be in his presence. What if God is just calling you to be in his presence in this season? You know what? You did enough work in this season. Just get in my presence, get in my word so I can feel you up and this is a word i don't know who i heard this from but sometimes god is preparing you for the next season sometimes god ain't can't even elevate you it's not about what you're doing because it's not our works that elevate us right but you got to understand that god prepares you for the next season so when he is preparing you for the next season if you don't get in his presence if you don't rest you will not be ready for the next season because god is going to require more of you in the next season but the fact that you can't get with him to rest he can't elevate you because you're so weary in this season not realizing you did all that you 
needed to do in this season, but God needs you to rest in him. That's the thing he said, rest in him. I'm not saying go out and just be chilling. Rest in God. Rest in the fact of knowing, you know what, God? I feel like this season, I need to rest in you. I need you to recharge my battery. I need you to overfill my cup. I need you to overfill my cup in this season so I can be able to make it to the next level that you are calling me. Because some people, let me put this as, some people haven't elevated because they haven't spent that time with God so God can be able to prepare them for the next level. Some people are not even prepared for the next level, but they feel they are because they are working. And when I say working, becoming, putting out what God calling you to do. Sometimes, yes, God, God called you to work, but also he caused you to rest. Like he said on the Sabbath, rest. Be able to take that time to yourself experience. We are human beings and he's calling you to a balance. Not only work, but be able to rest. And when I say rest, I'm not, uh, rest your soul, rest your mind. Get out of a habit. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do this. If I don't, it's going to fall down. Who do you serve? What do you mean it's going to fall down? God is your provider. It doesn't matter if the whole world stops. You still get supplied because of who your source is. I had to realize, God had to make me realize, you don't, stop worried about what the world talking about the con the economy all this you you're not of this kingdom you don't go off of what they go through that you don't go off of what they go through is not what you go through because of who i am who you serve so stop worrying about that stop worrying about if i stop this is going to happen and this is going to go up. You don't, that's not something you need to be worried about when you are in the kingdom of god you need to be able to put your full trust on god in god he says trust in me I am your shepherd. I am your provider. I'm anything that you need me to be. So in this season, you need to have enough faith. Like Tor Torrey Roberts was saying, you that it takes faith to stop. But you got to understand that it is it is a purpose in resting. You got to understand that sometimes your work is not going to get you to the next level because like God says, I elevate you, not what you do. Your works don't elevate you, but it is God. So if God is calling you to rest in this season, rest in him, be able to observe, be able to go out, create fun for yourself. So many people get so caught up on work and I speak for myself. It's always work. I got to do this. I got to do, like I said, I got to be about my father's business. Yes, you do. But you also need to be about your father's presence. You need to also be about your father's rest because we live in this body and God knows this body. We need a balance. We can't always just be working, 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 working and not rest and not experience life and not have fun. We need a balance in this lifetime. So I'll say all this to find your balance. It may take a lot of faith. It may take a lot of strength to simply just rest. And I am calling you, even if it's just a day, God had to make me realize, don't always get so caught up on how much time do I need to rest. Get caught up in God's presence. Get caught up in what is God telling me in this season? Stop getting so caught up on what the world's saying. The world got to go fast and I got to pay my bills. I got to do this. No, God pays your bills. Worry about what God is saying to you in this season. Because if you want to get to your next level, you are going to rest in God so he can recharge you and elevate you for the next level so you can be prepared for the level. God is trying to elevate you so you can be able to sustain where he is putting you. Not elevate you so you can be an inbound in a imbalance or unbalance. You got to be able to understand God is calling you to balance. Okay, so make sure that you're not just doing, 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 but you're also being, that you're also being in God's presence, that you're also experienced being in the present moment and not always feeling like I got to go do this. I got to go do. No, sometimes you just got to be, you know what? I'm not taking anything in today. I'm going to simply be in this experience. I'm going to observe without absorbing. Okay, so like I always say, go out and be a light in this dark world. Continue to strive and learn your balance.